Hi friends, welcome back to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing the serious and potentially life-threatening condition known as DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis. Let's get into it. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a serious complication of diabetes, typically type 1, but it can occur with type 2 in certain circumstances. DKA results from a shortage of insulin in the body, leading to uncontrolled high blood sugar levels and the breakdown of fat for energy. This leads to the production of ketones, which in high levels can cause the blood to become acidic. So we know what DKA is, but what exactly causes it? There are a few things. Insufficient insulin, so this is a good reminder to educate our clients on avoiding missing doses and administering adequate insulin therapy. Other causes include infections, which can increase the body's insulin demand, severe dehydration, and other stressors, including physical and emotional stressors. All right, let's do a little visualization. You're working on the floor as a nurse and a client with type 1 diabetes presents to you. What symptoms would this client exhibit that would signal to you that they're developing DKA? Comment below on what you think are some DKA red flags. You would expect this client to exhibit high blood sugar levels, ketones in the urine or blood, frequent urination and thirst, nausea and vomiting, fruity smelling breath, confusion and difficulty concentrating, and rapid breathing known as Kuzmal respirations. Once a client has been diagnosed with DKA, treatment typically consists of insulin therapy to reduce blood glucose levels and ketone levels, IV fluid replacement to help dilute excess glucose in the blood, electrolyte replacement, and treatment of any underlying causes such as infections. So what education can we provide to our clients to promote prevention of DKA? We can encourage them to regularly monitor their blood glucose levels, adhere to their insulin therapy, including proper dosage and timing, and manage illnesses with additional insulin and fluids as prescribed. It's also important to ensure our clients understand the signs and symptoms of high blood sugar, ketosis, and when to seek medical help. DKA can be a serious life-threatening condition that when left untreated can lead to cerebral edema, coma, and even death. DKA is a medical emergency that requires rapid intervention to avoid severe complications. Here are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing this topic with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all Blueprint Nursing content review videos. Check out our TikTok live study sessions and live NCLEX study group. See you next time.